This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helping. Cheers, Memory Heart. Wait, is that an actual water bottle? Look at you go for this planet. Yeah, um, I don't know when. Oh, I think I got this one uh, like years and years ago um, when there was that like visco kid trend going on and I made a video of like dressing like one and they always Wait. have water tumblers. This is like two years ago, three Hold years on. ago. What was like, what was like the the top Visco kit and what did Visco stand for? Cause it always reminded me of Crisco. I don't know. I know that it's like an editing <laughs> software, I think for like oh. photos and stuff, but I never knew the correlation, but it was basically that you dress like, um, like oversized, like billabong type shirts. And like, it's like dad core meets skater kid, but they had like tumbler bottles and stuff. It was like a very specific, very. uh unbothered aesthetic kind of thing i don't know like an oversized shirt some spandex shorts and a water bottle sounds like you've got your life together yeah personally. like it, it was actually i ended up cleaning out my closet last week and <laughs> i found a lot of shirts yeah. from that specific video and i was like what the hell is this i love when we would do videos or do stuff and, and you purchase things to make fun of it yeah and then it becomes a part yeah. of your wardrobe like what you and i did this had to be like five years ago yeah. you and i did like my best friend dresses me for <laughs> yeah. for like twenty dollars an outfit and yeah. something like that and you got me these plaid like flared bell bottom yes. spandex pants from forever 21 and i was like in the video i hold them up and i'm like they're not the worst grace i've worn them once a week for five years <laughs> i know she calls oh. them my sexy pants <laughs> <laughs> i'm like Wow. I mean, like, talk about bang for your buck. I know. Those were the double duty videos. That was so pure. What an era. Oh, what man. an era. I also remember in that video, well, I just remember kitten heels. Yes. You got me white <laughs> kitten heels to wear with every outfit, and I was basically dry heaving. And since yeah. then, whenever I wear anything with a small heel, yeah. people are like, what about you hate kitten heels? Yeah. I need to clarify. Yeah. I hate kitten heels that are actual little pointed heels. Yeah, a little, little bitty, bitty, bitty. L that looks like you're just aerating the the lawn. Yeah. I don't mind just a shorter, blunt heel. Yes, 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 yes. There's a difference. There's one yes. that looks a little bit like confusing and desperate. That's like, why don't you just wear flats? <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. wear flats. It looks like either like you're going to let your toddler learn how to like walk in these before she yeah. has a beauty pageant or like you truly did fall your heel broke in half yeah. and then you just even the other one out exactly quick. like you stepped on a marble on your way out and you can't get it off the bottom of your heel hey <laughs> a bitch when you step on a marble oh gosh yeah grace uh, you just did a cleanse and this is all i want to hear about i know i am i am rolling in here like an actual corpse so we had opposite weeks we had completely opposite oh my seven god seven days i feel i'm sorry to say this in front Amazing. of you fantastic right really? now <laughs> yeah elliot and i did the cleanse that you had talked about a couple weeks ago and I truly thought that we were gonna bail at some point you know there's no caffeine har or hardly any caffeine yeah. not just like, like coffee, a little bit of matcha or something which i hated the first two days and just ordered more matcha <gasps> for the Stop. house yeah this has been a full mind body cleanse wow uh, I've loved it. I really thought we were by day three. I already had in my head like that's, you know, over half of the five days. We could probably bail at that point if it's too intense. Mm -hmm. Day three, I started to feel great. And uh, yeah, we finished yesterday. So it's been fantastic. And now, of course, I'm in that like swing of ordering all mm -hmm. these powders now and being like, I want to yep. keep this going because I don't want to just go back to eating whatever 7-Eleven has to offer. <laughs> but, I mean, because the thing is, it's so far from your normal diet. I mean, like so, a cleanse in general, like, you know, so, is going to be, uh, and again, we're not being paid to promote cleanses no. here or flat tummy tea or anything. But no. like for like a little reset, like you naturally kind of eat Junk. like crap garbage like a yeah. like, like a, a kid living behind 7-eleven like i live like the Ra a kid, raccoon behind 7-eleven yes like the kid from blank check <laughs> that like <laughs> gets to decide whatever they want yeah. it's like Who i can have cereal yeah i can have cereal any hour of the day with my hands um no it's been i don't think i've had that much nutrients mm -hmm. put in my body 
collectively over like the last decade that I've had in the last five days. It has been fantastic. And it's not even like a loose. Yeah, it's it's just truly like eating throughout the course of the day and like putting really good shit in your body all throughout. the. And we like ate dinner every night. We made like small meals because I just wanted texture to chew on at some you miss, point. You miss you never know how much you enjoy crunching things crunch a crunch until all you're doing is liquid like do you yeah. know how do people still do this this was mind-boggling to me i i feel like this was a thing back in the 90s you would hear of like rich women getting their like teeth wired oh like jaws like, wired shut so they to, could oh yeah there's an episode for like a liquid diet I'm, oh. i was just like that's insane to me yeah there is an episode of below deck where one of the people that comes on one of the yachts has their jaw wired shut and she's like the primary guest and they have to (laughs) blend like lobster (laughs) and ceviche for her to drink while everyone else is eating and she's just complaining the whole time and it's like ma'am you paid for a mega yacht and your jaw's wired shut and you're asking a chef to make five-star meals and put them in a blender so you can drink them with a straw Okay, let me say that is some great casting (laughs) on a uh, reality TV uh, level. But also, if I was a producer on that show, yeah, like I would definitely every time she entered the room, play the Jaws theme song underneath. (laughs) It would just be like Jaws (laughs) eight below deck. I'm like, why did they even mic her up? It was waste. Uh, But no, we had. I'm proud of you because that is like no small feat. And also, I think it's good you had a partner to do it with. Because when I was doing my little like health week, yeah, I had like no accountability. And then also Chip was getting home early, and then I kind of like, I might have, I might have. Skipped, <laughs> skipped part of the last day you know what oh, i mean we yeah it was really nice you know misery loves company so it was great to just like look at each other on day two and be like what the fuck are we doing like why, why? are we doing this and we got gifted an air fryer over the <gasps> weekend and so we busted out we finally opened it and like a wedding gift and uh last night celebrated with air fried chicken which is incredible Oh, welcome um, so to the air fryer lifestyle. I'm entering a new era and I, I we've only scratched the surface. I cannot wait. Elliot's made 17 different things in this air fryer really? in the last 12 he's hours. Just, he's, he's just like fully Ron Popeil <laughs> showing you the array of things you can make under 10 minutes. Yeah, he just went to the store down the street and bought some meat just so he could use the air fryer because he loves it. <laughs> so it's been uh, quite a transition in the Helbig Morgan household this week, which is wildly opposite of what I've seen only small glimpses of that you've been up to the last week. Oh, my God. Well, before I forget, <laughs> when you were saying you were ordering more powders for yeah. the cleanse, this came up yesterday in uh-huh. a conversation. Did you see the film Powder when you no. were younger? No. No. Okay. That was like under what I would have considered a scary movie or too intense for me. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was only watching Monty Python when I was younger. That was about okay. it. Well, because that came out and I think I was like probably, I wasn't in high school yet or anything. And like the big thing, the supernatural guy, he like a deer was like dead and he like brought it back to life. But I looked at my friend's husband and I was like, oh yeah, powder. And he was like, man, that movie was so bad. And I was like, um... <laughs> Once again, just like we learned from Varsity Blues, yeah. this whole time I thought it was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was well revered. Like it was I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. It had a message. Oh, it was awful. Oh, my bad. I was like, that was my Citizen Kane of sixth grade. Yeah. I was like, wait, you're telling me powder sucks? Oh my god. Anyway, oh. yes, I have. Well, I got up at five a.m. this morning in Austin, oh. Texas. And it's um, like f- almost 6 p.m. your time now on the East Coast. Yeah. And Damn. I also went to bed at like 1.30. Jesus. <laughs> this has been like the last week has been I'm either getting four hours of sleep or like I'm getting 10. Like yeah. there's been no in between. But so I woke up and I was in Texas once again. Drum roll, please. The beans da-da-da-da-da. flew for free. Beans flew for free. Nice. Nice. I'm talking three, three flights <laughs> All with layovers, so technically six flights. Wow, and I just saw a headline of a woman got kicked off an airline because she wouldn't I put saw. her dog in the carrier. Yeah, and I, I was saw. like, um, <laughs> I, uh, Quite a few people sent it to me. Yeah. Like, this, this you? 
<laughs> but no, so my adventure started last Thursday. Okay. In which Beans and I, again, got up on an early flight and flew to Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it was my friend Ashley and her husband Jeff's 10 year wedding anniversary. And I was her maid of honor. It's like my yeah. high school bestie. And so they were like, they got married in Kentucky last time. Um, and so then they kind of like lightly floated to friends like, hey, would you want to do like kind of like a 10th anniversary weekend? We'll go Cute. to the racetrack. They have like a beautiful racetrack called Keeneland. We'll do like a bourbon tour, like go to a horse farm, all that jazz. Lovely. And a- Ashley was like, Sick, you know, like, Six, six or eight friends, 34 uh-huh. people. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So they went from like, we'll plan like a little fun weekend to like, oh, we're hosting a second wedding. Yeah. We're having another wedding right now. <laughs> Absolutely. And like my, this is my friend who like, everything is personalized. Like in my uh, first book, when I talk about their uh, like hosting her bachelorette party, I say these are the type of girls whose tampons are monogrammed. Yeah, yeah you know what yeah, I mean. Like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yep. So it was like to the T amazing, and I, I shared a room with a friend from high school that I hadn't like really hung out with in a million wow. years, and so we were just like up gossiping about people from high school <laughs> to like till two a.m. And I was the I was like the only person there who was. A, uh, besides my friend, like not with their husband, but also uh, not a mother. Oh, wow. So okay. everyone was ready to like party. Oh, because their kids weren't there. So everyone no, was no without allowed. <gasps> wow. So there was a lot of um, pent up excitement. Yes, exactly. And yeah. so I really I really went into it being like, oh, this will be like Thursday. I got there and I said, <laughs> Okay, nothing, this is the only night, like, nothing's planned. Yeah. So everyone will check into the hotel. Uh, her husband was going to find a bar nearby. Chill, right? Yeah. Stayed no, up till 2 a.m. T- <laughs> <laughs> Stayed up till 2 a.m. And then I'm having to, like, wake up my friend, who I haven't woken up from a slumber party yeah. in 25 years. <laughs> this is literally, like, you just went back in time, but you guys are in your current bodies. <laughs> Absolutely wild to wake up and then get dressed head to a racetrack to start tailgating before we go drinking wow i mean before we start i mean we started drinking immediately what am i talking about um (laughs) but so much fun like i'm not into horse racing because i worry yeah the the horses aren't treated correctly and all that jazz so yeah i didn't bet or anything but the actual culture of fancy tailgating yeah i am into did you go for hats? Is that a thing at every, or is that just Kentucky Derby situation? Well, here's the deal. Uh-oh. Is, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it sounds bad. Everyone wore like a cute hat because this group of girls, uh-huh. all of them had gone to, on a different girls trip two weeks earlier, <gasps> and they'd gone to Kimo Sabi's, the oh. hat store from in Aspen, from that's- Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, like a couple episodes ago. Yeah, and they got they, they all get the hats that were lit on fire. Yes, so they okay. all had like on five hundred dollar hats Jeez. with their like <laughs> names branded into them with like feathers. Once again, you gotta have your name on it. Yeah, of course, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> Where's Kathy's tequila? <laughs> so meanwhile, I just roll up in a gray floppy hat like I'm J Lo's <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> I'm like, oh, everyone here is in a a designer hat from Aspen, and I'm in a floppy hat from a general store about yesterday (laughs) in Asheville. And then my friend Jessica wore a full fascinator. Amazing. Like, Uh, she was at a a royal wedding. Amazing. You have to. But, I mean, like, it was just so fancy that, like, at the tailgate itself, you think tailgate, you think you're just drinking beers, whatever. Yeah. Like, personalized uh, koozies, there we personalized go. cups for mint juleps, a giant sign that said like, you know, their name and like the anniversary party, huge cheese boards, charcuterie board. Like it was, we got dropped oh off by God. our Uber uh-huh. and, and Jessica, cause we went there last time during the wedding. And Jessica was like, I don't think this is where we were last time. Were we? And the Uber driver goes, this is for the rich people. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, we weren't here 10 years ago. Okay. We'd be- a couple, a couple of these people have done well for themselves. Yeah, this is uh, this is new for us. Wait, so she made thirty something personalized koozies and cups. Well, she got them ordered. Okay. Yeah, Still, yeah. It wasn't like she wild. was puffy painting. Right, yeah. right, right. 
Wow. I mean, every, every single detail was personalized. It was wow. crazy. Wow. It, it okay. was inspired. Um, but no, the level of like fancy we're working with here yeah. is we go, we get, you know, a little buzz there. Then yeah. we go into the racetrack. Okay. I'm immediately, we go to the champagne bar and get yes. like champagne yeah. and we're sitting there and people are betting and it's super fun. And then one of her friend walks up who was the only person who came without a hat. Right. Oh, oh. She comes in. I, I'm not. I'm not kidding. She had a work of art on her head. She strolls in, <laughs> having gone to the gift shop. <laughs> Wait, at the racetrack? At the racetrack. They had like a hat, a little hat store, right? Oh, that's great. So she, she didn't want to be like, so now I'm really the loser in the floppy hat. <laughs> like, I'm like from an I'm real J-Lo Ja Rule video, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, I remember I had like a burgundy floppy hat uh-huh. when those songs came out in college. Yeah. And I have a distinct memory of being in a frat house in college, smoking a black and mild. Yes. Cigar. That's a college. Yep. <laughs> and like, and this, <laughs> this frat boy comes up to me and just goes, you can't smoke a cigar inside, J-Lo. <laughs> And I was so mad. I got you like, So you get the reference. Okay. So, Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I've been waiting for tonight and now I'm oh. real. Um, but so anyway, she comes back and she's got like a full like peacock sitting on her head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Subtle. And she's got this hilarious accent. I loved her to death. And she was like, well, I went a little crazy at the gift shop. And we're like, what's okay. And then she's talking to another girl and the girl looks at me. And she goes, do you know how much that cost? I go, what? She goes, she went up to the gift shop and saw it and saw it was $98. So she went to buy it. It was $980 <gasps> and she was too embarrassed to put it back. What? Oh, oh. So she's on a whim and so out she, of shame. She's sitting there. $980. She's fully like bug eyed. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess they are rolling with some money. Like this was like yeah. the older couple at the, at the wedding, at the okay. um, party. And then that night I'm talking to her and her husband, because of course she threw a dinner with like a neon with their names. Like, you Amazing. know, everything this, is perfect. They love personalized stuff. My God. Actually, you, you will never get lost and wander into the wrong party. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no one is stealing your shit. Yeah. Um, so anyway, and I'm sitting there and I'm talking to her and her husband and she said something about the hat and and her husband goes, so I guess you heard about the hat. And I go, oh, yeah. I go, everyone's everyone's talking about it. Her eyes are as big as fucking saucers. And she just looks at me. She goes, yeah, I had no idea it was two hundred dollars. What? So I was like, oh, you're lying to your husband. <laughs> so she's just sitting there. With a thousand dollars on her head and lied and was like, the whole day has been like, who's going to help me? Who's going to help me? What a strange secret to keep. I was like, yes, a $200 hat, you say? <laughs> Everyone's like, why is everyone taking this cadence? I don't understand. <laughs> oh man but it was wow. so much fun and i had like the best time nothing crazy happened besides us just being up way too way too late yeah 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 but then that night which was a million drinks because we started drinking at like 10 a.m yeah i had to get up at seven the next morning Jeez. and fly to austin of course why not keep it rolling just <laughs> keep it going <laughs> keep it rolling and when i got there i was meeting my friend jacqueline who got who like also loves formula one that's what we were going for as do you i love i know i'm so jealous i want to hear all about it i'm so 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 curious well so we get there or i get there and of course it's like i'm already tired i know like everyone is back in kentucky going to distilleries and they were going to buffalo trace where we went for hey usa oh where we were on kid leashes for hey usa as adult women yes Yes, i remember vividly as i saw all of them in the lobby and their beautiful adorable bohemian free people dresses and denim jackets and other hats i oh god i wish that woman showed up with the same hat just to get her 980 dollars (laughs) worth totally but as they showed up like that i didn't share that oh when i went i was in spandex shorts a t-shirt knee-high socks and a kid backpack with a leash on it i was dressed like dora the explorer last time i was at buffalo trace so you guys have upgraded or a visco girl one of the two all Um, ahead of our time but so anyway they were already like dragging ass that day but i was landing to a 
fresh person. Oh, God. And that's where you got to really paint the barn and put it on. (laughs) So we show up or I show up and I land and immediately like the everyone is in F1 gear. Like so you land and you're going right to the event. No, no, no. The event is not till the next day. It's on Sunday. Gotcha. But so but it's like a whole weekend. So yeah, we only had tickets to Sunday, but Friday they have an event right because um, they do all the preliminary rounds and stuff but what I didn't know is they also have like concerts during it oh really so I guess that makes sense Friday night they had like a prelim- preliminary round and Green Day played <laughs> really Saturday was like the qualifying ones where yeah. you figure out what position you're going to be in and Ed Sheeran played <laughs> what I know spe- do I would never suspect that formula one fans would like green day but i don't know why they wouldn't i mean honestly i don't know what kind of music i would associate with formula one well i would as well here's the kicker though and then sunday Uh uh-huh when it was over it was supposed to be we were like this will be the big one right yeah 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 it's the indie band interpol from the 2000s <laughs> like have you ever even heard of them that name sounds familiar but i couldn't tell you a single thing about them it was it was like what <laughs> like maybe I've, they're maybe they're huge in europe <laughs> maybe i've i've accidentally seen them three times at different festivals and i still don't know one song couldn't tell you yeah i have no Not idea one. But so anyway, I assumed it would be like, oh, we're in Austin. We're going to get country music yeah, artists. Totally. You know what I mean? Show them the like Southern country. It was so random. But so anyway, I meet up with Jacqueline and mm-hmm. immediately realized that I packed for Kentucky's weather, not Austin's. It's 90 degrees. Oh, shit. In Austin? In yeah, Austin. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would assume it's the same. I mean, me and Beans both arrived in turtlenecks. <laughs> Once again, you're showing up dressed a little wrong for the situation. (laughs) A little wrong. I mean, like, I'm walking beans outside. You know when you're, like, chilly all day because you're in the airport, and then you walk outside, and all of a sudden you're in, like, a dragon's Uh, vagina? Yeah, then you're like, I just walked into an armpit. Okay, what's going on? Poor beans. She's in, like, her full lumberjack wool insulated. (laughs) Yeah, she's like... I just got my basic bitch fall on. What's going on? She's like basically in my sauna bag. Um, but already when we get there, like it's big, big posters of all the drivers and everything just uh, in the yeah. airport. Uh, right. Oh, cool. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we get to, I meet her at the hotel, check in all good. Everyone, you know, like there's a, it's so funny. I walk in and there's a table sitting outside and it's all people in like Red Bull racing polos. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, that's like some of the pit crew. (gasps) And then I look around and every single person in Austin is wearing a Red Bull racing (laughs) polo. I was going to say, did you get starstruck? I don't know if I would recognize anyone Uh, other than the drivers and like the uh, figureheads or whatever. Yeah, the managers or or whatnot. (laughs) So anyway, I go in and I quickly realize I'm like, I only brought dresses for a different kind of racetrack. Yes, yes, yes. This this is my (laughs) racing weekend. So we go shopping and I and I'm like, oh okay, you're just supposed to dress normal, I guess. And I get like Yeah, what is the dress code? I don't they don't show like the fans as much. No. And so I really thought this was like a you get dressed up event. Yeah. You know I I would assume that. No. Jacqueline's like, I'm wearing jeans and like a white So it's like NASCAR. Well, a little more than NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, NASCAR, yeah, yeah. you're lucky if that, like, they I've are been to, Yeah, I'm saying that like I've been to a NASCAR event and know right. what the dress code is. No, but so I'm like, okay, so we go, we uh, find a couple stores. I get like jean shorts. I get some cute sneakers because I only had boots and stuff. Yeah. And like a white shirt and a different hat. Nice. <laughs> okay. How much was this hat? <laughs> this hat was more expensive because it was from Madewell, but it was like a nice okay. mustard color. Nice. And Jacqueline gets a cream one and we're just automatically just like we're hot girls (laughs) you have a twinning effect to you when you're with one person (laughs) like we we, we're hot girls now Um, so anyway uh she's like hey i just got hooked up with an event that's tonight okay and we're like okay and it's essentially like 
like an outdoor concert kind of series. I'm hanging on by a thread. Yeah, I'm, I'm. this is an event before the actual main race that's happening the next day. So what this is supposed to be is it's like two different DJs and okay. then Post Malone. <gasps> okay. Who I love. Yeah. Who that's... we both said is the most attractive, unattractive person. Yeah. Uh, I would, I've never seen him live. I'd no. love to see him live. Never seen him live. He's from Houston. So he'd be in like Texas, Texas yeah. boy, whatever. So... She like found like one of her sponsors for her events that she throws was also a sponsor. So we, she was like, I got us this. So okay. we have dinner, have a couple drinks. I'm like, can we just, we got to like, let's roll through. Now. Yeah. Because if we go home first, I'm never You're getting crashing. back up. You're crashing. Yeah. So we get there. It starts at, I don't know, like 930. We get there at 930. Yeah. Like, and first of all, as the hat girls, you're like, please let us in. (laughs) We're here. It's a huge event. And we get there. There's four other people there and they just work there. Right. We're like, oh, my. Everyone is four years old. Like, everyone is like 14 pounds and 16 years old. And we're like, and we're just going around (laughs) with our new hats. Like, just like, just like. So much older than everyone, right? I was like, these narcs are making us uncomfortable. <laughs> really? Like, we looked like moms coming to spy on their daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so we get there, and we I finally just go up to an employee, and I'm like, so what time will the main act go on? Mm-hmm. And, and she goes, well, the DJs should start around 11.30. I was oh, like, no, no fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> And there's two DJs before yes. even Post Malone potentially goes up. Wow. And those like were ones that Jacqueline had heard of. Like they have a big following. Yeah. And so I was just like, and we looked at each other. We said, oh, we're going to bed. <laughs> the hat girls <laughs> got to go lay down. <laughs> I can't do this. So, you know, we went back to the hotel and watched two episodes of Love is Blind and went to sleep. Oh, uh, I'm all caught up. This season is unhinged shenanigans. I'm only on episode three it's Oof. psychotic it's insane it's insane I saw a tweet about it that was just like we have to all admit that we're not watching this show to watch people find real love we're watching terrible people make awful decisions yes <laughs> it's like, absolutely ding, ding, ding. <laughs> absolutely okay so then here so it's the day of the show right of so, the race of the race okay so Jacqueline is, was told by a million people it is a nightmare to actually get to the track because the track is like 10 miles away. Right. OK. It, yeah. I'm called, trying to remember from the season. The, I mean, I never I'd never even seen the track before. And I've been to Austin probably 40 times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's called Circuit of the Americas and it's huge. Yeah. And it's just a million miles and it's like just 10 miles away. And I guess like they say, oh, you can take an Uber. You're going to be in the Uber for two and a half hours, <gasps> even though it's 10 miles. <laughs> just because right? of traffic? Because of traffic and everything. Shit. So that was previous years. So okay. so Jacqueline was like really freaked out that we needed to like the gates opened at 9 a.m. And, wow. and the race was at noon. Yeah. So we were like she was like we got to leave the hotel at eight and go. Yeah. But this year they had a ton of shuttles, right? Okay. Okay. So now it was like, oh, we'll get in the shuttles. We'll go there at like right in the morning. So yeah. I put on my little outfit, got on my white, <laughs> my white shirt. That's like an expensive white shirt, like a nice. crisp white shirt. You've treated and, yourself. <laughs> oh, I, I truly did. I, I looked at it. I was like, I would never pay this much for a white shirt, but we're going to F1. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't pay for the tickets. F one is an expensive luxury sport. It is. We get in the Uber to go to the shuttle, and I immediately spill coffee all over the front of me. <laughs> Immediate. Oh, no. oh, Within no. four four seconds. See, this is yeah. That is the risk in wearing white. Oh no. Within four seconds, we get out, and we're like, which way? They're like, you have to pick up your wristband for the shuttle, and they point, and it's like down this crazy walkway. Mm-hmm. By the time we get to the shuttle. My feet are bleeding because they were new <gasps> shoes. <laughs> no! I am hobbling. There is blood <laughs> filling up my both socks. Oh no! You're just covered in liquids. <sighs> I'm just like I look. Jacqueline's like, are you? Oh my god! Your <laughs> foot is covered in blood. I was like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Like just trying to be, <laughs> just trying to be a trooper. <laughs> I will make it to this event. Just trying to be a trooper. We get in the shuttles. It's the easiest thing ever. We get to the Formula One track at nine. Uh-huh. 
And that's when we realize the actual race is at 2.30. We're five <gasps> and a half hours early. Oh, this is a theme for the two of you <laughs> this weekend in Austin. Hat girls coming in hot We're and early. And, and you're like, can we? T- okay, we have five and a half hours to find some Band-Aids and a new shirt. <laughs> also, there are 100,000 people atten- literally attending this wow. race. And we're the only people in wide brim hats. <laughs> A series of bad choices. It was I mean, a series. As we got on the shuttle, as we got on the shuttle, an older man said, nice hats, ladies, who like was working the line. Yeah. And Jack and I were like, ooh, look at us go. And then we yeah. got there. We were like, uh, we're the only people dressed for Coachella. We're Everyone here is in baseball hats. Uh, we look like idiots trying to get rich husbands. Oh, no. So we get there. I'm hobbling. Covered in coffee. <laughs> it's for five and a half hours early. Oh and my so God. They have these big pillars with, you know, like the, you know, like cool shots. Yeah. Of all yeah. Of them. You know, they're like Daniel poses. Ricardo's is like, ah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're all, all posing. It's all their branding. Yeah. Did you see cameras for the show? At no, all? we didn't because we were, well, here, I'll get to that of like yeah. where we sat. But so there's hundreds, of, it's so big. It's bigger yeah. than any event I've ever been to. Damn. Um, but so there's a big pillar. Jacqueline takes a picture in front of her dra- favorite driver, who's uh-huh. Carlos Sainz. Yeah. So he. Oh, I saw on your, yeah, that looks exactly like her husband. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Carlos Sainz, for those listening, he drives for Ferrari. He's really good. But yeah. he looks like Jacqueline's husband if he was Spanish and 20 years younger. Yes, 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 yes. And so she takes a picture in front of it. She's just like, I love Carlos. You know, like, <laughs> mm, oh, yeah. it's so cute. Like that kind of thing. And so we get in there and it turns out we were going to go to our seats, which were mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. And then she's like, oh my God, the same person who hooked us up with uh-huh. the concert last night is hooking us up with badges to get <gasps> into the Sports Illustrated Lounge. Whoa, that sounds major. It sounds major, right? Yeah. So after I hit up the medical tent to get band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> the hats are hobbling to the medical tent. And it's so windy because the racetrack, we're just holding our hats. Like <laughs> they're flying off. <laughs> we're chasing after them, right? Yeah. So we we get to um we get to the Sports Illustrated Lounge, which is basically what I find out yeah. is like the bougiest place on this track. It's a huge like two story lounge wow. with all these bars, food, a fucking sushi roll thing, Holy and then shit. like on the bottom there's like eight rows, and it's right uh-huh. on a turn. And that's why okay. it's so nice because it's like, I guess the place in that track where you're most likely to sim- see someone, see someone pass. pass. Cool. So yeah, you it's get like to the see real view. action. Oh my and God. You're, you're like unobstructed right there. So there's like eight rows on the bottom floor and uh, probably like four rows of seats up top. Right. Okay. So okay. we get there. She calls her contact. The contact's like, oh, I'm not going to be there till 12. This, there's a girl at the front named Madison. I'll mm-hmm. tell her to let you in. Right. Yeah. So we show up. Immediately, there's a girl up front who is like Emily Blunt in Devil Wears Prada. She's like, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Do I care? Like, like, this is like 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm just coffee stains, hobbling up. And she's like, ma'am, I don't know who the fuck you are. You're not on the list. Literally, she said, you're not on the list. And then oh she went, because there's not a list. Do you have a badge? And we were like, no. <laughs> and then so Jacqueline's like, let me go. Let me go text my contact. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. And the contact's like, I'll, I'll call her. And then two seconds later, full bitchy girl just goes, hi, I'm Madison. <laughs> are you are you with AGB? Like whatever the yeah, like, sponsor yeah. was. <laughs> so we go inside and and Madison is like, just so you know, like we actually don't have extra lanyards. Okay. So like, and you have to have it to be in here. So I'll try to tell a couple security people that you guys are good to go, but like they might, they you might approach leave. you and be like, <laughs> you're not here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you're not supposed to be here. So we get there and we're like, oh my God, we're here five hours early. <laughs> we're going to have breakfast, lunch, and a snack before this starts. <laughs> it's, it's like you're at the best airport lounge on a layover for 12 hours. Yeah. So, but then we Google it. Grace. Yeah. Do you know how much a lanyard was to be in that lounge? How, like, 
Uh, like oh, entry, man. like for that's where you like would watch the Formula One. Okay, it's a bougie, expensive sport, and this is the best lounge. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be crazy and say ten grand. Eighteen. Oh, <gasps> what? Eighteen thousand dollars a person to be I in that be, lounge. Oh, I would be take my hat off and start just scooping sushi <laughs> into it for later. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna eat uni like M and M's, and I'm yeah. a vegetarian. Like. <laughs> yeah. But the first thing, of course, that happens is we go up to the bar yeah, and uh, and I'm like, let's do, I was like, we could do a mimosa. Let's do, oh, they have, I see peach puree. I'm like, let's yeah. do a Bellini, right? Yeah. So I walk up to the sassy bartender and I'm like, we'll take two <laughs> Bellinis, please. And she goes, I can't make it. Everyone is it. so sassy. She's Jeez. like, kids, I can't make it. And I go, oh, well, I see you have peach puree. She goes, yeah, but I don't have a blender. And I go, oh. That's not what a Bellini is. I was like, it's just the, it's just peach puree and the Prosecco. She goes, huh? Uh. She goes, I don't have a blender. I don't have peach schnapps. I can't make a Bellini. And I go, yes, you can. And Jacqueline watched. <laughs> she said, me and her, and this, this is like a, you know, an old yeah. broad. Yeah. We just like literally like moved <laughs> our necks towards each other for like a minute. And then I go, ma'am, this is how you make a Bellini. And she goes, I've been bartending for 30 years. And Jacqueline oh goes, uh, Mamrie, I watched you actually swallow words. <laughs> yeah. Because it was that moment I was like, I am in a lounge that costs more than like my student loans were. Uh huh. There's nothing I can do right now that isn't going to look like I'm some like rich bitch. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? And you're going to be there for like six, yeah. seven hours. I mean, yeah, luckily there were a bunch of bartenders, but sh she watched me and she was like, I watched you swallow all your pride and go, then just two mimosas. <laughs> I was like, I cannot draw attention to me. At you're like, I, my shoes are boats full of blood. Oh my God. I got to really start choosing my battles <laughs> yeah. here. So anyway, we, we hang out there for like three hours. Uh -huh. And then she gets a text from a friend of hers that there's like, there's a full like RV park there. And when I mean that, I mean like massive, like million dollar tour buses where for people the... park for the whole weekend. Wow. Like and, on and the these track. Are, these are people that are watching the event. Yeah. These aren't the people that are running the Working. event. Right. Okay. This is people that they're like, we got wow. like, a f so she had a friend. So we're like, okay. She calls a person. She's like, we want to go say hi to our friend really quick. Uh, will we be able to get back in? She's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll be back. Well, actually her friend who was finally at the event was like, yeah, I just had to be here. Shaq is watching it from here. So I'm about <laughs> to meet him. Shaq? Excuse me? Because Shaq was DJing Wait, on the paddock at the end of the event. You, we're talking Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq. Flat Earther Shack. <laughs> Flat Earther Shack. DJ name DJ name Diesel. Just before we get any hopes up, I did not lay eyes on Shack. Oh, I wish. I wish. Okay. But so anyway, we go visit a friend. They've been there like all all weekend, loving it. She okay. has her, she has well, she only brought two, but she has five black Pomeranians. The friend. <laughs> Why do I not? Okay, sure. So I'm just getting some dog love. And yeah. then we're like, oh shit. Okay, it's starting in like forty five minutes. We gotta go back. Yeah. So we hustle, we hobble back, right? <laughs> we hustle back. We get to the front. We're like, Madison, what's up? Hey. What's up? She's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's like swallowing everything. She's like, okay, just remember, like, you don't have lanyards. Like people, <laughs> girls, people girls. are going to be mad, right? We get up there. Grace, I kid you not. We were the first people in that lounge. Didn't even think to save two seats oh no the entire thing is full and we're <gasps> like we've been here for five hours and we didn't save seats oh shit oh Wait, shit could you still see the track so here's what happens so like we're posted we're like what do we do what do we do you know yeah. there's a lot of you can see it from the inside but you want to be on the outside but they yeah. were being really strict about like fire code so yeah. unless you had a seat outside like you couldn't just like stand out there Okay. Okay. Right. But you could see it from the window again, because we were so close to the track. Yeah. So all the seats, like tables near the windows are taken. So we just post up in front of this garbage can. That's right <laughs> at the window. Right. That seems appropriate at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Great. So, and then people are in front of us at the window, but we're like, we know they're going to get kicked out. Yeah. Uh, so like, and then we'll have a clear view. Right. Right. Like these like old rich guys go by and he goes, <laughs> it was like an ex, it looked like an ex Rolling Stone member. He was just like, you girls are just hanging out by the rubbish. And we go, oh, you wait, sir. You wait. 
you wait. And then he goes outside. Five minutes later, he gets kicked out. He comes back in. He goes, rubbish girls. We go, we told you. We have the best seat. So anyway, I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's about to start. And not yeah. only that, but Carlos signs her crush yeah. is in pole position. He's nice. in first position. Wow. And like, notoriously at this track, pole wins. Right. Okay. Oh, so I'm we getting like, spoilers on the upcoming season. I okay. Know. So I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing. Um, so anyway, I'm like, Let, I'll go get us another drink really quick. She's like, cool. She's like, I'm going to just move this trash can and like bring two, <laughs> bring two stools up to yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, great idea. Okay. So I go. <laughs> Here's our plan and break. <laughs> Here's our plan because we'll have a perfect view. Even better yeah. than being outside because it's hot. We were in yeah. the AC, but still nice. like basically fifth row. So yeah. I go get drinks. I come back to Jacqueline being kicked out. <laughs> So, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like, there's 10 seconds till it starts. Everyone is looking around. Jacqueline has moved a stool and I see her with another little tiny boss bitch and a huge security girl that just was like, (laughs) looked like she was from Glow. And she goes, no, I'm supposed to, I'm with AG, I'm with AGB, I'm with AGB. And she's like, I don't know who that is. And I hear Jacqueline go, it's one of your biggest sponsors. You should check the step and repeat downstairs. Right. Oh, so, shit. So, so like, you guys are getting sassy back with all the sassy. Employees. So I was like, what? She was like, let me call my contact. And then the girl's like, ma'am, you have to come to the front. I'm like, oh, my God. Everyone's looking at us like we are. We <laughs> snuck in. Right. Oh, like no. we haven't stuck out anyway. And then she just goes, well, hold on. Ask Madison if she knows that us with two seconds. The other girl's like, Madison. OK. All right. Fine. If you know Madison. I will let you stay here until we have confirmation you're supposed to be here. And so oh and it's the race has started. We've missed the beginning of the race. Oh We're in everyone's God. way. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a kerfuffle. You've caused a scene. Already. I go, Jacqueline goes, Mame, go get another stool. Bring it up to the window. I go, okay. I hand her her drink. I go get a stool. Come back. Within that 10 seconds, she spilled the entire glass of wine over herself. <laughs> I wish that this somehow made it onto the season of Formula One. Oh, I, mean, I wish. We looked insane, right? So she was like trying to text the person to be like, I'm being kicked out. <laughs> and it's just a whole so glass of Sauvignon Blanc all over herself, right? Oh, Finally, no. the girl comes up. She's like, they're fine. They're, they're fine. They're guests of ours. Like they just don't have lanyards. Yeah. And I, I'm like, of course they're going to kick us out. They think we're squatters at a, yeah. $36,000 worth of squatting, right? Jesus. Meanwhile, we had like great seats. It's just that this was like an experience, yeah. you know? Yeah. So we sit there and me and Jacqueline are just di- like secretly dying. She's yeah. like, well, I'm covered in wine and look like, like, it is so embarrassing. I go, I got in a fight about Bellinis and my shoes are filled with blood. Like, yeah. I'm still covered in coffee from this morning. All I'm waiting for is for Post Malone to walk into this lounge right? and be like, what's up, girls? Oh, my God. So we watched the race and it was super fun and it went by like really quickly. It's not like NASCAR. It's, there's like 56 laps at that track. And so it's like, oh. an, like two hours long. But. Max Verstappen, since Carlos got out, he was the leader anyway. He was the favorite. Ah. So he was just going to win. Like, he's like, they can't even catch him in points anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, spoilers. All these, I mean, it's not spoilers. Well, no, There's seasons live. It. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just like watching the fully mm-hmm. edited version of this entire season. <laughs> totally. So we're like, within the first 10 seconds, yeah. Carlos gets bumped and he's out of the race. Oh, shit. Like, uh, I'm talking about like, like they take off. He's yeah. out. So we're like, fuck, uh, our favorite driver. Yeah. Your, your your younger husband is yeah. out of this. This sucks. <laughs> like, we can't even cheer for him. So anyway, we watch the race. It's super fun. We leave and we didn't want to, but we like had to leave the last five laps to get to the shuttles or yeah. else we were like, we don't know. And I don't want right. to be here for another two. We've now. Yeah. You guys, have your track record at this point. <laughs> yeah, Beats has help. now changed her address to the hotel room <laughs> yeah. and has started looking for a new home. So anyway, we get back to the hotel. We're so tired. We go to dinner at like five. We are in bed at 730. Yeah, you have to be. At that You're, point, you've done enough damage for the day. <laughs> it was psychotic. It was psychotic. So we go to we go to sleep. She falls asleep at like 8:30, but that's not weird for her. I'm yeah. like, I I'm like, I might be up for like 4 more hours. Yeah. Nope. I was asleep at 9, slept uh, till 9. Amazing. 
12 Amazing. hours. She did too. And so we wake up and we're both like worse for fucking wear. It's raining. It's, uh. you know, it's Monday morning. And we're like, let's go find, you know, some something to eat. We like walk in the rain. We find a spot. We both eat like a Cobb salad. <laughs> we come back to the hotel, <laughs> get our stuff. We're Jacqueline's still in the hat. Still in the hat. <laughs> she's committed to the hat, which she's I appreciate. In like, she's in like a big jacket. You know, she's about to like yeah. get on a flight. I have one more night in in Austin to see my friend Beth. Uh, but she's like in her like Jeffrey Dahmer like you know like <laughs> glasses. Yeah. She's got on her white hat. We both look smell like blue cheese crumbles. <laughs> We come out. We both call our Uber. Yeah. Uh, they pull up. Someone walks past us. And Jacqueline goes, that's Carlos Sainz. <gasps> and it's the back of him walking out. And I go, no, it's fucking not. Like, uh, he's by himself. Like, that, no, he's not. Yeah. She goes, he, like slow motion, turns to the side. It's fucking Carlos Sainz. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she would know. Of course. Jacqueline goes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm holding beans. Like, I'm like. Oh no! I say, so I was like, I've got like nine thousand small bags because I yeah. refuse to pack one big one, and so she goes up to him. I'm, uh, I, I'm like, I'm dying. She goes up to him and goes, uh, "Can I get a picture?" And he just is like, so mad, right? He's so mad. He he didn't get to race yesterday. He yeah. was in first position, oh, and so shoot. they have a picture together where she's standing a few feet away from him, and he's like barely smiling. Oh, and I was like, no. oh my god. She's like, thank you. Oh, she goes, she goes. Really sorry about yesterday. Have fun in Mexico City. Because <laughs> that's where they're racing next. And I was like, I'm like, so she comes up. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So and that's when we see like everyone from the hotel has now realized like she uh, saw him first. Oh, she outed him. No, no, no. But also like what luck? Because yeah. literally we were like, bye, love you. Getting in as he's put into a wow. car with the security. So oh. like it was all perfect because like, wow. I don't know if anyone else got a picture with him just like randomly in Austin, truly in the whole right. place. So that we're texting and she's like, he looked at me with disgust. I smell like a <laughs> Cobb salad. I... <laughs> perfect way to end that it was perfection (laughs) so it was like all around the best we got kicked out wine poured on us coffee poured on us but like she got a selfie Uh, with her crush blood sweat and tears my god i couldn't believe it could not believe it it is what a what a whirlwind i mean write up the script (laughs) let's make this Uh, into a short film oh but my sorry my one other favorite part yeah is that in the sports illustrated lounge Uh there was a will ferrell impersonator dressed as ricky bobby wait for real from yes a guy who looked like Will Ferrell to the uh-huh. point where I saw him across the way and I said, no fucking way, Will Ferrell's here. Will Ferrell's here. And then we yeah. realized, like, it's just a guy who looks like him, oh. who dresses as Ricky Bobby and <laughs> takes pictures with people. But, like, half of the lounge thought it was real. <gasps> oh, my God. How I'm going to put the picture on Patreon. Okay, it good. <laughs> killed me. I was like... What a what a what a way to do it! What a way Why to do it! Why not? Why not? The hat girls don't look as crazy now, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so Man. it was super fun. But I am so. Then I spent. I mean, there's no story here. I spent yeah. one more night in Austin last night visiting a friend who moved there. But of course, we stayed up till one. I got yeah. up at five to come Classic. here. So classic classic so go sleep for a billion days i know <laughs> chip pulls up to pick me up from the airport and he and i just go like hey babe he goes oh you partied <laughs> <laughs> i have like playlist live voice yeah exactly uh, oh man well that even hearing about it sounds exhausting but it also was so fun, hilariously though. fun it was so fun and like just for a listener if you don't yeah. watch drive to survive on netflix yeah it's, it's probably so good. our favorite show of the pandemic i know and now i want i want to look up how to go to races because there's a track in vegas too well they're driving down the actual strip right like they're closing down the road ah uh, when is that that's like next year sometime i thought yeah it was really really fun i mean this one was i'll never do one like this i will yeah. never be this fancy again <laughs> or this or this trashy in a fancy scenario hey sports illustrated any of you listening would like to give us some actual lanyards to an upcoming event we will yep. do it and we we'll... will not spill wine on ourselves <laughs> we will not embarrass you or get in a fight about how to make a bellini i swear oh, oh. that is 
incredible incredible been, all well, this happened in five days uh, yeah um, i mean it's just proof that we had two <laughs> very different weeks this past week <laughs> oh that is great <sighs> okay well i have more to talk about but we'll do it next week yeah i have uh i had stuff to talk about oh, sorry. Seen, i just railroaded no, this thing. no 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 just okay. stuff from the internet that i'll save for next week it is okay, not we dire. Love that. yeah i plan on having well I'll probably have some stories next week. It's Halloween. But oh, that's true. That's true. We'll figure it out. Oh, man. Well, Whew. this got weird. Yeah. 